Question number two. Let's try to solve the system of equations. And my preferred method in this case will be substitution. And why is that? Because I already have x over here isolated completely. So what I can do is that I can just take the negative 2y plus 4, which is equivalent to x, and just plug it in for x and try to solve for y. So what is that going to look like? Well, we got 4y plus 2 times, now I can plug in this in parentheses, the negative 2y plus 4, which is x, by the way, and that's just equal to 8. So that's just the second equation, but it replaced the x for negative 2y plus 4. Great, so we get 4y. Now the 2 I can just distribute. 2 times negative 2y is negative 4y. 2 times 4 is 8. And we have 8 on the other side. Now, something interesting is about to happen. <laughs> Trust me. 4y minus 4y is 0. So we end up with 8 is equal to 8. Well, we know that. But the variables got cancelled out. And what does this mean then? When we get rid of the variables by solving a system of equations, and we end up with the truth, 8 equals 8 is the truth, we actually have infinitely many solutions because this means that these two equations are actually equivalent. So they coincide. If we were to rewrite each equation in y equals mx plus b format, we would end up with the same thing. But now, let's say that I end up, ended up with a lie instead, like 4 is equal to 8. In that case, we would have no solution. But that's not the case. We got the truth, and we have infinitely many solutions. That's it.